general thoughts on uh, the game, especially uh, Oak's Eagle? I'll start. Um, I, first of all, this guy, great goal, saved us. Um, unbelievable to watch from back there. First OT game I've ever played here. Um, same for you? Yes. Yeah, yes. so I was pretty well, no, special. not first OT. First OT with fans, I should say. Okay, yeah. So a pretty special moment for both of us. Just in, the, in general, watching the boys play from back there today was super impressive. I don't think I've played in front of a team like that in a while that just dominated offensively and defensively. They, Harvard didn't get much, so um, it was really, really special to watch. Yeah, just picking up off what he said, uh, it's a hard-fought game. Harvard was 4-0 coming in, and uh, it was going to be a good test. And they battled hard, and uh, looked we, uh, we we did what we needed to in the D zone, and uh, we capitalized when we needed to, and we got a big two points out of that. Um, yeah, uh, Ritzy won the won the face off, and we kind of were just playing possession pass back uh, in our D zone, and I uh, started carrying it up. And I saw that I had some time, and Jordo uh, just kind of stretched the zone and took uh, both D with them. They kind of collided with each other, and I kind of got the breakaway from there. And uh, Kislin told me to shoot glove on the on the goalie, and it worked out pretty well for me. Once he made that move past the two defenders, I knew the game was over. Uh, what's your mindset? You know, they have 16 minutes of power play. Minutes on power plays again. So when they keep going back to the power play, and of course the five minutes, they're like, how do you, how, what's your mindset during that period when they have the constant power plays? How do you mentally get through them and approach that? Yeah. So as a PK unit, we just took it one entry at a time. Um, you know, we were on the PK for a while, so it's it kind of sets you. Um, in a bad mindset if you if you look at the whole time you have to kill rather than just in increments. So during the five minute we just looked at every zone entry. Let's let's dominate every zone entry, get the puck out, reset. So that's what we did. Um, PK was unbelievable tonight, um, blocking shots for me and it was it was really cool to watch. Um, and uh, I think that um, PK unit is a big reason why we won the game today. Especially against that team with that kind of a big focus on the end of the game today. Yeah, for sure. We knew they had a good power play. There's some big guys on on that roster, so um, we knew we had to shut them down. Um, and the special teams played a big role tonight. Our special teams were, were very good, um, power play and PK. So um, that's that's why we won in part. Uh, after playing, I mean, three games in four days, it's, it's a lot of strain on the entire team. Uh, I guess, how are you just feeling after a weekend of three wins? Uh, I'll start here because he's had a lot more minutes, so he's probably a little bit more tired than me. But um, <laughs> um, uh, my legs are a little bit gassed. I haven't really played uh, that many games in short th that short amount of days in a while. But uh, it's, it's good that we have a little break here. We can uh, just get back to the little things we need to focus on and get ready for UMass Lowell. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm tired, but it's a really good tired feeling. It's, uh, it's a feeling that um, all of us can say we emptied the tank and we did everything we could to come out with three wins this weekend. So. Um, you know, it was really well fought um, by the whole group, and we're, we're super proud. Going into next week, we're going to try to keep up the same thing. How the attraction coming here is this building, the fan base. How, do, how has that been this year, finally be able to have them at your back? Uh, for me, it's like my, it's my second year. Last year, obviously, we had uh, all the uh, cardboard cutouts, and obviously that's not the same as uh, a bunch of people yelling in the stands. So it's, it's amazing having them on, on your side. Just another, it's another guy on the ice, it feels like, just having them behind you. And uh, we knew if we just kept getting chances, the goalie was getting nervous because of the crowd noises, and I thought. So uh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. I've never played in uh, ambiance like we had today. Um, it was unmatched for me, for sure. And um, you know, the support from the crowd, um, never felt more confident making a glove save from the red line. So um, it, was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> I've been asked this question a lot too. I don't, I don't, I don't even know the answer. I've been That's asked by people. <laughs> you know, when you're in the other end, they get the, the signs to you, it just kind of has a nice, nice look to it. Yeah, so for me, that, that period is just a reset. So the, the period is played in my mind in increments of four. We play five minutes at a time. We get, we get a break every five minutes. So that break for me is, just a, is, a, is an opportunity to just recenter, get in my body, breathe, refocus, and go attack the next five minutes. And you give two a breathing exercise? Yeah. Like whip off method? Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 No, no. <laughs> 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 uh, Gunner, just 
how, uh, you already went through the goal, but just how big do your eyes get when you see that you have that opening and it's just, a, are you gripping the stick a little tighter or you just, you just want to let it go? Um, on that one, I, I was getting a lot of shots. I, I was feeling good this game. I thought I played a uh, pretty good 200-foot uh, game. And on that one, I, my mind kind of just went blank. I just felt like I was in a very natural spot and just felt very good. I didn't even really uh, feel the stick in my hands. It just you know, it came off very nicely. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a great college hockey game. I thought both teams went at it pretty good tonight. Um, it was in, just watching the game. You know, I was proud of our guys the way they committed to playing the right way against a really talented team, and um, we stuck to it. And, and obviously, we've got some injuries. You know, McDonough goes out in the uh, the third period. We got to kill a five minute major. So heck of a job by our PK. It was it was a it was a great win for our group, um, you know, to, to get the fan support that we did tonight. Um, you know, the doghouse was was awesome up there, and I know that it meant a lot to our players and, and our coaches. And you know, to find a way to get that win that was big for us. Uh, you mentioned McDonough getting the major uh, in the game against Lowell. I mean, he's, if he's not going to be there, I mean, what's your strategy? Uh, What's your game plan going into that without McDonough? He's been great. Yeah, oh, he's. I think he's one of the best players in college hockey. Um, I'm not sure to be to be honest with you on that because I don't know what the deal is if he's going to be in or out. Uh, I haven't been told that yet. Hopefully he's playing because um, he's a huge piece to our team. Uh, that three on three on three overtime. How much have you guys uh, worked on that uh, in practice? And I guess do you feel like that was uh, manifested in? in No, it's not. To be honest, we play some three on three in practice, um, but it's not something that we, uh, you know, that we we have a plan for, so to speak. We we, we know what we're doing. We talk about it. We want possession. Uh, we want to come up with speed, and we want to have good line changes. Those are the things that you want to do in uh, in overtime. But no, that's really just a good read. I thought Jordan got out and uh, backed their D off, and uh, we found Gunner coming up with speed underneath. So it was it was just more of a hockey play that uh, those three guys made. It was a great play. Uh, what do you see from your penalty kill in this game? 16, 16 minutes on the kill. What do you see from them during that, especially in that five minutes? Yeah, and again, we're we're without a couple penalty killers tonight too. Um, you know, Riley Hughes is a huge part to that that penalty kill. Dylan Jackson kills for us. So um, the guys that were going tonight, um, they really stepped up. And and you know, again, you know, Glocks does a really good job preparing that group. They're bought in. They got a lot of confidence and. You know, we gave that first one up, and we did actually a really good job. You know, for a minute and fifty-one seconds, I think. And um, yeah, they they just they buy in, they stick to the plan. Uh, you know, we've got a good plan going into the game, and um, they got a lot of confidence. And we've got a good goaltender too. And and you know, your your penalty kill is your goaltender is obviously a big part to your penalty kill. And um, you know, we, we've got a good one back there. What do you? What else do you see from Levi out there tonight? Of course, now you know towards the end of this track record so far this season. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what preparation does, right? He, he's constantly preparing. He's um, he's a real focused kid. I talk about it all the time. He's uh, he's a guy that is probably thinking about uh, getting ready for a game 24 hours 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. That's him. So um, he was ready. He was ready to play. Our group knows he's ready. I mean, we have a ton of confidence in him. He. He, uh, he's gonna he's gonna give us a chance to win every night, um, you know, knowing that he's back there. Our guys feel confident, and and I and I thought he was outstanding tonight, and I thought our guys in front of him played outstanding too. I thought it was a team effort that way. Jerry, you already mentioned the, the crowd. Did this almost feel like you're being caught in a November type of situation with just the, the way the game was playing out? Kind of that yeah, you know what I, I I said to the group after the game that was one of the the best wins we've had. Um, just just with, you know, Harvard coming in here, being a top ten team and they're they're good. They're very good. Um, you know, and and our some of our guys having to step up a little bit because we, we, we got hit with some injuries and, and to have that crowd in here on a Monday night where nothing else was going on, um, it it was. It was it was an awesome atmosphere and I thought it was a huge win for us to, to be able to just kind of find a way. That, that's that's what we had to do tonight. We talk about all that both teams were playing their third game in four days. Again, neither team looked sluggish. I mean, I, I, were you impressed with how both teams looked tonight? Yeah, I really was. I, I was. Um, I was really impressed with Harvard. Um, I thought, 
Um, some of the things that watching them play that I was worried about, they, they were they were better than I thought. They they were a really good hockey team. Um, they checked really well. Um, you know they they um, they made a commitment to to playing defense against us tonight. They were good in their own end. Um, they made it hard on us. Um, they're obviously really offensively gifted. Um, and they, it, listen, they they got a they got a great program, great team, and their coaching staff is one of the best in the country. So um, you know credit to them. Um, but it, it was overall, I just thought the entire game was two good, two good teams that, you know, they, it was three and four. But I, I don't think it looked like three and four. I, I thought I thought we had good legs. I thought they had good legs. And um, overall, I just thought it was a really good college hockey game. Uh, could we get injury updates on uh, Riley, Dylan, and Sam? Yeah, all all three um, are, are they're going to be week to week. Um, so not expecting anyone back in there um, this upcoming weekend. So, which is tough because those three have played a big, big part to our team. Well, I think when you when you put a focus on uh, what it takes to win games, uh, big games against good teams. Um, and you commit to that as a group, and, and what I mean by that is is getting above the puck and being really good coming back in our back check and, and owning the middle of the rink. Um, every guy in our team can do that. So when you can get guys to buy into that, and when you can win a good uh, against a really good team doing that, then guys they focus on that, and, and that commitment's always there. And I think um, you know some of our wins recently guys are starting to realize, hey, if we play a certain way, then you know what, we're, we can be a pretty good hockey team and moving forward. So um, we've got a lot of, we've got depth on this team. We've got a lot of good hockey players. So, um, you know, I, I feel confident in any, any one of those guys going out there.